Alrighty guys, uh, <laughs> I haven't been making videos as regularly because I've been kind of busy and the other thing is a lot of the stuff I make, YouTube doesn't like, Google doesn't like, uh, it gets put at the end of searches. I've noticed views have really dropped down, um, <clears throat> but uh, you know I'm going to try to get back into it. Hopefully some people are staying and watching anyway. But... <clears throat> For this video, I, I just thought of something. Uh, just a little thing I recommend people get that didn't want it. But uh, a co-worker of mine, buddy of mine, just bought his first uh, gun. And he uh, he messages me, hey Tom, uh, you know, I just got this, uh, he had a SDVE9, a Smith & Wesson, and uh, he's like, you know, hey man, can we go to the range, pop off some rounds, and you know, um, of course there's people down there, but he figures, hey, you know, we've been working with each other forever, he knows I'm into firearms, he knows I'm a big supporter of the Second Amendment, doesn't know, you know, what I do, that I believe in, you know, preparation and stuff like that, but he knows I'm a, a advocate of firearms. <clears throat> so, I had, uh, you know, some, a little bit of gun oil, some, some brushes and stuff that I put aside for him, a, a extra dummy round. <laughs> And just stuff like that. I'm like, okay, you know what? I got this stuff laying around. I'm going to hook you up with. And I gave him one of these. Right? It's the uh, the same grease they use in a new Glock. You've got that copper grease. Right? Now, a buddy of mine, <clears throat> he, uh, he puts these together and he sells them at gun shows. Uh, and he sells them on eBay, I believe, through his, his or his wife's account. I don't remember. I just get them from him. Um, now you can do that yourself, it's no big deal, but it, I like, I just go to him, I get one of these guys, because this stuff is a real mess, you know, you, you can buy this crap, and it's really messy to work with, it stains shit like you wouldn't believe, man, it's like, you get to, like trying to put something, imagine a, a thick grease like, like creamy peanut butter, and you're trying to, you're trying to put it on a gun, just specific areas with a brush, right? It it does not work. It's it's messy. You get all over the place, and a little bit goes a long way. So this guy he just put a little dab, and that's all, right? You can use it maybe a toothpick and run it on the rails, and that's it. What I like to do also is uh, <clears throat> in uh, the springs, your smaller springs. You know, not just a Glock, but in other firearms. I I did that in the high point video. Um, AR stuff like that just your smaller springs I pack them with this grease and uh, because it'll keep them it protects them from rust and stuff right so it's high temperature grease it's water resistant it doesn't run like your typical grease or like oils if you leave them sitting over time it'll uh, it'll run and you know if you've gotten a Glock if you actually read the manual you're not supposed to wipe off the copper grease you're supposed to let it wear off over time right and uh, I'm going to leave a link to, uh, I think it's his wife's, his wife's eBay, maybe his, I'm not sure. But uh, I'll leave a link in the description bar. <clears throat> you can get these if you want them. Um, but they're supposed to break in your gun, right? Copper is going to be softer than, than, than uh, your steel. Like I've talked about ARs, you know, with, uh, with the ammo, which is a controversy there too. But I like brass. Brass ammo, right? Steel parts, the, the brass is softer than the steel. Well, the idea is the copper is going to be softer than the metals too. So it's, uh, you know, softer metal, a little bit of grease on metal on metal contact, right? <clears throat> Helps smoothen it out. And the other thing is, like I said, it won't run like uh, typical oil or grease. When they make a Glock, it may sit on the shelf or in the back of some storage place some little gun shop for a long time so for that reason they put this guy's good doesn't run <clears throat> so better protection metal on metal action it'll keep springs and stuff protect it from uh yeah keep them from getting wet so protect them from rust doesn't run it's high temperature grease right so anyway and this stuff, man, I, I've had this for a while. It, a little bit goes a long way. Besides packing the springs, you know, little extractors and stuff. I mean, 
and the extractor's small as hell, so I mean, you really just put it at the end, barely touch it, and it's already loaded with grease. I've had that for for a while now. I had two of them. I gave him the other one. It was, a, it was about the same as this guy. I mean, I, a little bit goes a long way. <clears throat> but anyway, if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description bar. Um, especially, you know, protect your firearms with stuff like that. You can go and get that uh, that copper grease other places too. But it is a, it's a mess. I've done it myself. Like, you know what, man? I held it. For, for a couple bucks, fuck it. I just bite off my buddy. <clears throat> he doesn't know what I do either, but <laughs> again, he knows I'm into firearms and he knows that I'll give him five bucks for this damn thing and, you know, maybe it, it'll work. It goes a long, a little bit goes a long way. Anyway, I thought you guys would like that. Um, I just gave some to my buddy for his new gun. So I figured, hey, what the heck? Um, you know, maybe some other people out there would like to use the same type of grease. Anyway, let you. Get close up here. So yeah, same same thing there. <clears throat>